You start with uh, motor simulation, temperature simulation uh, in all the parts. Here are laser, uh, laser cut uh, laminations, 3D modeling. After that, cut all the stator parts. Here you can see uh, the stator parts. Now I start the windings with uh, the 15 wires in parallel. You need the insulation paper. Then you need to measure the insulation resistance and the uh, winding resistance. After that, you need to cut the uh, insulation, cut it this. Here is the finished uh, windings. You need to connect all the windings together in the stator. Here is the rotor with one magnet. Then you need to glue all the magnets to the rotor. I put Kevlar fiber over the magnets, round the magnets with uh, epoxy heat resistant glue. Here are all the parts and then the uh, motor finished. After that I start building the, um, the, um, the cooling system, cooling uh, plate made out of copper with uh, copper pipes soldered together. And here is the motor with one uh, copper uh, pipe around. This is the first test or the second one. Anyway, the, the uh, one of the first tests. And I have the temperature reading inside inside the motor, and uh, outside the water uh, on the water tube. Here is the tachometer. You can measure the RPM. So uh, we we I had the uh, 2,600 RPM. In the first test with 230 volts. The controller is uh, also uh, homemade, built by me, by me, and I uh, put a 12, 12 volt uh, water pump. Here is a tachometer with a laser, and as you can see, the RPM is 2,600. Yeah, 2,593 RPM. So the motor can run uh, very slowly if you want, with very high torque. You cannot uh, hold this. Right now it's only using uh, about uh, 5 watts, something like this, when it's very slow. You cannot, the torque is huge. After that I bought um, this part to connect the axle together with a generator to test uh, with the load. Here is the connection, motor running with the water pump. And I dismantled a gasoline generator and I took out the dynamo from that. So I run the test with uh, two heat elements to heat water. This is the actual test. So I have some uh, some uh, small boxes to measure the the voltage of each uh, lithium ion cell because if they drop on under 2.3 or 2.4 volts is not good for the cells. These are lithium, uh, lithium iron from A123 systems. I have a 230 volts battery pack. These two are uh, heat elements. This is it.